Good afternoon, garden friends. Today is part two of beautifying our front entrance on our cul-de-sac. Today, I am going to be planting the Autumn Joy Sedum. I'm going to be planting up uh, the yellow flag irises because I'm looking for height. I'm looking for texture. I'm looking for plants that will add that cottage feel to our front entrance way. So come along with me while I go ahead and start getting these guys planted. All right, garden friends. So I'm going to go ahead and I've broken up the Autumn Joy Sedum and also the yellow flag irises that I got flanked on uh, the tail end of the flower beds. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys planted so uh, they can start getting acclimated to the soil and start doing what they do. So let me go and get my blood meal. I got my kneeler, got my auger and go ahead and get these guys knocked out. See the good thing about the, the yellow flag irises, you know, because like I stated, this is on a hill, it'll get enough water, but also act as a, an erosion stopper uh, for us. I can add texture and layers to our flower bed here. So let me go ahead and get the whole dug, get the blood meal in, and then that way we are able to go on and finish down the line. And the one good thing about um, the yellow flags, they are really self-sufficient. Uh, yeah, bringing more flowers to the area. I think I might put this other batch. Oh no, I might put it down. And then what I did was just as far as staggering the um, Autumn Joy Sedum back here and just four locations. And then that gives me more, more room to put like some taller um, perennials in here and more color. Now I'm not gonna put any of the blood, uh, the blood meal in with the Autumn Joy Sedum as they don't like to get hold of But one of the things that I am going to do, and I'll bring it down closer so you guys can see, is I'm going to be pinching them back. Because as you know, once Autumn Joy Sedums, you know, start to flower, they'll start to flop over. And I have found that when I pinch them back, uh, it allows them to get bushier in the center to be able to hold up the weight. I want to have to put two there. I actually want to do like a cluster of pansies. I'll go ahead and put these other ones down first before I make that decision. Thank you. 
going to go ahead because these are starting to flower. I'm going to snip those guys down. Take that amount off and I'm just going to stick it back in the ground for it to start to root. end up using these probably up in the front bed and then this is the thing by doing this like I said it allows it to be more compact and full to where you don't have when the blooms come on them tipping over and get this yellow flag to mimic the one that I have down in the corner there. Okay, and then one of the things that I'm gonna do is like on the sea oak grass, the stalks that are dying or that are brown, that was from last season, I'm going to come and get those guys cut back so that it's nice and uniform. Um, I think that bigger autumn joy sedium, I'm going to go ahead and plant up in the front bed and then also the yellow flag put that on the side too so. so let me go ahead and get that stuff up that way all right so wow there's a lot of green in here because this is early spring uh before the flag yellow flag irises start to bloom the sea oak grass starts to get its oaks spreading on there and the autumn joy sedum start to flower that's why i'm going to be planting a lot of yellow and orange pansies in here to add some color hopefully be able to get some annuals from the growers outlet on Saturday so it's coming along like I said I'm not that instant gratification gardener I like starting things off small and watching them grow all right garden friends like I said uh, it's a little after seven the Sun hasn't even come up but I have an hour's road trip to make to Growers Outlet today so I can get some annuals, get some perennials, and see what other goodies I can get from there. So come along with me, and then once I get to uh, the outlet, I'll show you the array of plants that they end up having. Okay, guys, I am here getting ready to get my annuals and perennials from growers outlet it is in loganville georgia like i said it's about an hour drive for me but i'm getting ready to go in this candy store and find all some goodies um i'm actually looking also for some wine cups those are beautiful so i'm hoping that they have them here Wow. Ooh, that lavender looks good. Ooh, eleven dollars. Huh. Oh my. Let me see. Let me keep looking around. 
knock out roses. Ooh, that sun is blinding. <laughs> I think I want that color. And then, like I said, these guys come back.
flowers. in here it is not funny yeah. so love it and i got three for ten dollars yeah, that's real soft though oh blue metal stage oh my god ah uh, y'all should have just never let me in this store okay so oh there's some lock spot i want that for my garden the lock spot I got pensamin. Oh my God, I need to get it. I need to get it. Oh my God, yeah. They're killing me here. They are killing me here. Okay, so I need to get, okay guys, I, I'm, okay guys, I am gonna stop recording because there's like so much here and I want to make sure I'm getting the things I want. And then when I get home, I'll show you what I ended up getting. All right? All right, guys. So I ended up going to uh, Growers Outlet to get some perennials. And also, um, I'm using some of my annuals that I have in my yard that I'm repurposing because I'm changing the design of my uh, front garden. And I don't believe in throwing plants away when they still have life in them. But let me show you some of the things that I got. I did change it up a little bit and partly because um, I was gonna put uh, some bobos back here, but because this is only uh, 18 inches and bobos can get, you know, three to four uh, feet wide, um, that just didn't make sense for me to put those there. So what I got instead, this is the Reeve Spria and it only gets two to three inches tall and wide. And I think it'll look really nice um, up against the fence. And I'm gonna be putting it in the, in between the uh, yellow flag irises and the sea oak grass on both ends here. So I got two of those. Gar I got some garo, and this is white garo. This is a one gallon, and I got uh, two of these that I'm going to place in the bed because, you know, like I said, I'm looking for height, texture, color, you know, just to have this entrance look really, really nice. I also got some repeat bloomers of daylilies. Um, I, I think this ends up adding some color for us. And then all I have to do is just keep coming out when the dead uh, flowers are done, clip them off so new ones can. And this got like a lot of buds on it already. I try not to get plants that are already blooming because I think you end up losing that enjoyment when you hit the beauty of spring. I also got three of the Blue Hill uh, Salvia. I think that with the purple and the uh, yellow orange color of the daylilies, along with the white of the spria that's gonna look really really nice and then, and then i have some dusty millers and yellow and orange uh, pansies that i'm going to line the front up with so what i'm going to do first is go ahead and get it laid out how i i want it to look 
um, then I'll, I'll show you guys and then start getting these, these babies in the ground. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna lay this out. I gotta go and get some more of my Dustin Millers and my uh, pansies, but that's gonna look really full. And it's actually rather warm today. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly get these into the ground and get them watered. So uh, their shock is minimal. All right, the bed is completely filled up. Don't, don't mind the hose, I just was watering everything. It is going to look gorgeous. Like I said, I got yellow flag uh, irises. That is a spria. We got sea oak grass. We have some autumn joy sedum, lamb's ear, pansies, Dusty Miller's. We have some Barrow. We have some Selvia. So, uh, day lilies throughout the bed. So, we got texture. We got height. We have uh, color. Everything is just going to be gorgeous. I am really happy with how this turned out. Well, thank you garden friends for taking this journey with me on um, planting up our garden here at the end of our uh, cul-de-sac. Now I still have to do the main area up in the front because we were still needing dirt to be delivered. So gotta wait for that to get here so that we can then get that bed set up. So um, thank you again for visiting Inspiring Garden Corner. And if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to you checking out my next video.